Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 356. Paroxysmal Nocturnal Hemoglobinuria. Synthesis of what is impaired in paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria? In paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria, there is impaired synthesis of GPI anchor or decay accelerating factor, also known as DAF. What is the normal function of decay accelerating factor or DAF and GPI anchor? The function of GPI anchor or decay accelerating factor is to protect the red blood cell membrane from complements attack. So when these are impaired, they are no longer able to protect the red blood cell, so therefore there would be an increase in complement-mediated red blood cell lysis. One thing to note about paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria is that it is an acquired mutation in the hematopoietic stem cells, and also the red blood cell lysis will occur intravascularly. What is the triad seen with paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria? The triad of paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria is hemolytic anemia, pancytopenia, and venous thrombosis. What lab findings would you see in paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria? The lab findings you would see in paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria is the absence of CD55 and CD59 in flow cytometry. What drug is used in the treatment of paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria? The drug used in the treatment of paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria is Eculizumab. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.